Okay, gonna go over here a quick repair for an old Harbor Freight winch I'm doing here. As you can see, the old wire lead's been missing for a while. I ran that over many years ago. I was using something like this that also wore out. But I came up with a smarter idea here. I wired in an old extension cord. Basically it has three wire operation, power lead, and an in and out on the relay here. And my simple switch is uh, two-way switch left and right and center center being off and then just a push button and then just wire it into a regular extension cord and I used a piece of square tubing to build a little box for it once this thing is dry because I've never painted it it's always been rusty then I will go and mark here in and out so you can tell but basically that's a simple way to do it Run your power through here first, then run a wire up to this switch in the center, and then two wires back to these two terminals, and that'll give you in and out. And basically, in this way you have a safety, so when you hit the button, nothing happens. It's not until you click it one way or the other and hit the button that the winch will actually move. So you never have to worry about accidentally, in the heat of it, bumping something. You can just kick this to kick this to neutral but there you go simple plus now the lead is 50 feet practically that goes back to the trailer there you go see ya